Koi's mayor wants to end worker furloughs six months early, and the mayor of Maui says he's hopeful the Valley Island can do the same. And that's because Kauai and Maui County are experiencing budget surpluses, while Oahu and the Big Island predict budget shortfalls this year. Exclusive story now from KITV4's Kilki Kerr. Kilki? Well, we already know that the state government expects a nearly $850 million budget shortfall over the next two and a half years. But in this story, we're looking at the budget situations in each of the four counties, and they are quite different. Maui County is in the best financial shape, according to projections from the newly sworn in mayor who says Maui projects a surplus, also called a carryover, of about $60 million when its fiscal year is over June 30th. A lot of it is how you manage your money, and uh, I'm not looking at a shortfall because uh, we're not going to allow our departments to overspend. Mayor Alan Awakawa says Maui County workers were supposed to continue on two-day-a-month furloughs through the end of June, but now furloughs might be over before that. I have a very strong suspicion that uh, we will be able to work toward the ending of the furloughs um, fairly soon. Until we are conclusive uh, on the evidence, or with the evidence, uh, we're taking a cautious approach. Kauai had a $43 million budget surplus this year, and a county spokeswoman says it's too early to predict what its fund balance will be in six months. But Mayor Bernard Cavallo has asked the county council to eliminate furloughs six months early. Kauai County officials say the county saved money by leaving funded positions vacant, putting off equipment purchases, and restructuring debt. And Kauai imposed a vehicle registration fee for the first time ever this year and increased the driver's license fee for the first time in 23 years. The Big Island predicts a budget shortfall for the third year in a row. At the end of June, Hawaii County officials expect the county will have a $40 million shortfall, the biggest deficit in county history. And on Oahu, Mayor Peter Carlisle said in November the city could face a shortfall of around $100 million. Now, all of the counties are still estimating just exactly how much money they'll have in six months when their fiscal years end. There's a lot that can change during that time, depending on things like whether landowners are successful in appealing their property tax assessments or how many people pay their property tax bills on time. Back to you, Laura. All right. Thanks, Kiyoki.